Next rule, power of a power. So what happens if I've got something to the power of n, and then this whole thing is taken to the power of n? In the case of the power of a power, I'm going to multiply those two exponents together. So it is a to the power of m times n. Let's go through an example that describes that. x squared all to the power of 4. My base stays as an x. I'm going to multiply those two exponents. I'm looking at 2 times 4, which is, which is x to the power of 8. Let's go through why that is what it is. Working from the outside in, it's like I'm taking four x squareds and multiplying those all together. So it's like I've got x squared times x squared times x squared times another x squared. Four x squareds all together. And I can take it even a step further. x squared is the same as x times x. And the other x squared is x times x. And the next x squared is x times x. And the last x squared is x times x. Count them all up. I've got eight x's all multiplied together. 